Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That is a 16 by 20 inch dry canvas, pre-primed with black paint. These are my swipe cards, miscellaneous. I'm going to throw them over into a container where I can find them easily, hopefully. <laughs> and I've got a dish to dip color into, or to dip a card into for color, but I'm going to start by grabbing just a card. This is Vivid Intense White. And I just want a change from what's there. Which means I'm just going to be random. And continue to be random until I'm happy with what I get for random. And then I might add some black and I'll definitely add some colors at some point in time. Now I could have put that white in the dish but I'm planning on putting the black in the dish so. I'm also contemplating cell activator which will be Amsterdam black or white. Actually it'll be whatever color I've got handy that I want to use at the time as opposed to that. It'll be with Australian Floetrol though. So let's put some black in instead of in the dish. amazing what you can do with no plan if you just allow yourself the freedom to uh, experiment. I could always put some more black down. I think I'm just going to keep putting colors down. Now I've done this with a spatula, but I'm not sure I've done it with a card and I may switch. This is a, I'm a color art affiliate. This is Indian Spice. This is currently one of my favorite golds to use. Might want to get rid of all the rest of the paint on the card and wipe it off. I might want to go with a dark gold. Oh, that's my head. Sorry about my head. So it's looking like we should call this a geometric just because. And if I pick up color from one place and put it down in another, that's fine too. I may add some more black, but I don't know that for sure yet. I also have a little toothy tool I made out of acetate, which might be kind of fun. I like that gold, but it's not dark enough. So I'm going to go to the, um, the Maya gold. I'm just putting down some, and if I don't think it's enough, I'll add more. I don't start with as much as I think I might want, because you can't take it back. But you can cover it up. So don't be afraid. And this is all about, for me, this is all about trust. This is my process. This is the new Vivid Intense Fluorescent Red Violet that I'm completely smitten with. And I'm thinking about combining it with the um, Prism Pour Royal Sapphire. But I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe I'll just try some out of the gate. I might want to wipe my card off. Usually that color purple and turquoise create a beautiful blue, is what I've found. And 
I figure with the white it might show up pretty nicely. I'm being called to blue. So what am I going to use for blue? I think I'm going to indulge in some Snapdragon right now. That's a very purpley blue that I have great affection for. It's a primary element. Yes. That's exciting. I think we need some more turquoise. Some more Royal Sapphire too. These cards that I'm using came from packaging. They have a little ridge along the top. Any packaging you see can can be utilized in that way as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to mix my colors. And as much as I want to just go ahead and put more red violet down, I also want to try other colors. And I was thinking all day before I did this that I like the turquoises and the purples together. So this is some blue-green from the new Vivid Intense Fluorescence. Not that I think it's necessarily the best use of it, putting it on a black background, but I get to find out how it'll work on a black background. And this is a whole different way of doing a, an abstract geometric. Which way do I want to pull? I want to pull gently over the black. Or do I want to push it away like that? I get a much stronger color pushing it away. And I haven't pulled out my toothy tool yet, but I want to show you. Yeah, I did. I've got a big one, but you need it, you really need enough paint. But once you pick up some paint, then you have it on that. And that's just notching it with a blade and folding it back. I didn't even cut them out. I might want some more gold. I can't do that now. <laughs> I have to be good. Well, I want to do that now. Someplace where it will show up. Like that. I want to put some more gold down. So I'm really liking the colors I've got, but I don't find that the gold is dark enough. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to continue on my blue journey with some uh, Egyptian blue, which is a prism pour. And I want to get back to brights. And at some point in time, I might decide that I want to use the Australian Floetrol Cell Activator, but that hasn't really happened yet. So you really could leave the marks without them being totally smeared out. But I like to do all kinds of things. I'm definitely contemplating more of the red-violet. Like maybe with some white next to it. Funny, you know, I love color, but I have to restrain myself. There, I don't mind that. That I like. That's exactly what I had in mind. So I'm kind of um, a medium stroke, medium weight. So I don't necessarily utilize all the leftover paint on that card. And then if you use a little pressure, you can create a whole new aspect. Let's do a little more Royal Sapphire. And be willing to take some risks. Now I know the white looks like it's smeared, but that's I don't usually like the texture of canvas, but I like it in this case. 
because it's creating a texture. And I love picking up paint that I just used or utilizing the paint that's left over on my card. I've been on a, a geometric streak. I should have thought harder about the colors I want to use. I've got some Burmese red, which might come out way too dark when it dries, but it might be worth trying just because it's such an awesome color. And there is something in that. I saw it land and I'm going to remove it. And I like that color. A lot. I can use that color to add straight lines someplace. That's great. Wow. Well, I like it anyway. Definitely still contemplating some gold, some more gold. But I love the contrast of the Burmese red. Burmese red is from fairy, it's a primary element, it's from fairy tales, which is a relatively new set of paint colors. I'm coming back around to the gold. I don't know if this will get finished. Oh, I had some purple on there and I don't mind. I imagine it's going to look something like a plaid when it's done. If I go just a few strokes at a time, give myself an opportunity and you don't have to pull the stroke all the way out either now the reason I've been using the canvases without pre-priming them with a layer of um, semi-gloss black from Meaden which is what I like to do is because I've been using a Minwax product that's a gloss I thought it was water-based, but I'm not sure it is. But whatever it is, one thin, let me grab that. One thin coat, clear, clear gloss. One thin coat on a lint-free rag works really well. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure it's gonna be in focus. Now, I'm still really liking the idea. This is the Vivid Blue Green. And I still have some color on my card. And if I had room, I might contemplate putting a bunch of colors down in a pan. I actually have a palette that has a lid on it, but I don't really have the logistic, I don't have the time. My camera shuts off at 17 minutes. Excuse me, shuts off at 20 minutes. That's why it's set for 17. Excuse me. I haven't got to the point where I can do the texture yet. Let's see how much time we got left. I got a minute 38 seconds before the timer goes off. And when the timer goes off, that's when I'll set it for three minutes again. And that'll give me one more minute. I'm thinking I'm really liking the Snapdragon. I mean, there's not as much paint as some people want to put on a canvas on here, but I think it's the effect I'm after. And if I only put a line of paint down when I add my paint, then it's not that much to dry. It's not like it's going to crack. And I can gently touch it to make it go where I want, or I can repeat my stroke, pick up color, put it down again like that which works really nicely. I love, I love doing that. I don't want to hurry myself because that does not help. I'm so not done with the, the red-violet. 
which is a fluorescent. There is a 20% off color art coupon code underneath the video, along with a 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. It seems like things are working out okay for me. I do sell my artwork and uh, you can purchase my artwork as reproductions or originals. But you can request any of the designs that you see to be added to fineartamericapixels.com. Spring clothing is under the video. That was nice. Alright, so I'm getting closer but I still think I need more gold. I hope I'm not wrong. I don't want to overpower it with gold though. That's kind of what I, why I'm holding back a little bit. I also like the smears. I don't necessarily need a whole bunch of exact geometrics. And this is a fun method because you can drop colors over another. Don't forget that you can always paint right over one color with another. You may not be able to do it automatically when it's wet, but it's worth a try. I've done it. So I think I'm almost done. I mean, I really don't know how much more I need of anything. Although I didn't add any jasmine and it's sitting right here talking to me. Use me, use me. So let's give it a try. And see if it makes anything pop. I think it does. I like it a lot actually. You know what, I'm going to put some right down in my container to facilitate time because when that timer goes off I'll have had to have told you almost everything that I want to tell you or I won't have any more opportunities. I am liking the jasmine. I hope you agree with me. So if you want to contact me, use my email address. It's EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Or leave me a message in comments. If you mention what you like as far as one of the genres that I do, um, I will probably include a playlist. So don't be shy. If you have questions, don't be shy. That's The jasmine is pretty strong. I better be careful. A little goes a long way. I don't want things to be as even as, you know, as might be instinctual, is to make everything just flow evenly. You could work on something like this a long time, and it would be even fun for me to go back with um, the black and add some marks on top of things. Every time I add some jasmine, I'm taking it back. I need to spin my turntable once in a while. Alright, I've got one minute left to tell you guys. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. I really appreciate that. I think I want some more gold right over there. didn't use my little rake very much. What else did I need to tell you? <laughs> Everything. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your kind words and your comments to keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. I don't think I'm going to be able to use my rake very many times here. Maybe a couple. Maybe it doesn't need that much. So I'll see you guys in non. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to be a member, you would help support the studio with a $9.99 a month uh, subscription fee. I will see you guys in non. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you. Don't forget the coupon code for color art.